I was celebrating Tucker Carlson getting canned from Fox News. Then it dawned on me, the one Republican in the entire country who could beat Donald Trump suddenly has a lot of time on his hands, a lot of time to be mischievous. Carlson's main advantage against Trump, who is 76, and Biden, who is 80, is Carlson's age. He is a relative spring chicken at 53 years old. Carlson must be looking at polls like the one this week from NBC News that found 70% of all Americans, including 51% of Democrats, don't want Biden to run for president in 2024, with nearly half of those respondents citing his age as a major reason. 38% say they want neither Trump nor Biden to run for president again. That leaves a very big opening for Carlson, who is uniquely well-positioned to criticize Trump. In private messages that came to light during the Dominion pretrial phase, Carlson referred to Trump as a demonic force, a destroyer. Compare that strong language to Ron DeSantis, who wets his diapers at the mere mention of the former president. Republicans love presidential hopefuls that have entertainment value. That's why it was the party of Ronald Reagan and Donald Trump. Tucker Carlson fits that mold. He was the highest rated host in cable television history with an audience of around 3 million viewers. He has ubiquitous name recognition from decades of TV stardom at CNN, MSNBC, and Fox. Donald Trump is deft at destroying opponents on the debate stage, but Tucker Carlson got a start on television at the cantankerous CNN debate show Crossfire. Not only would he hold his own in a name-calling bully contest, but he can think on his feet and respond extemporaneously to Trump's attacks. He's not gonna freeze on stage like low energy Jeb Bush or little Marco Rubio. Carlson is well positioned ideologically and owns the right's most animating social issue, which is immigration. He claimed on his show that mass immigration made America poor and dirtier. A feature in the New York Times said that Carlson, quote, has constructed what may be the most racist show in the history of cable news. What's not to love if you're a Republican? If Tucker Carlson ran, it would be an openly white nationalist campaign. He already uses divisive phrases that he could trot out on the campaign trail, such as, quote, maybe I don't want to live in a country that looks nothing like the country I grew up in. Is that bigoted? Well, yes, Tucker, but the base will eat it up like it's a free buffet at the Cracker Barrel. Like Trump, Carlson is a Putin puppet. He once asked during his Fox News show, quote, why do I hate Putin so much? Has Putin ever called me a racist? Has he threatened to get me fired for disagreeing with him? Fire you. Putin has repeatedly ordered Russian state TV to show your Fox News clips. He loves you. As a former KGB agent, Putin knows a first-rate propagandist when he sees one. Carlson also has downplayed January 6th and said it barely rates as a footnote. He produced a Fox documentary, Patriot Purge, and called January 6th a false flag operation. Additionally, he downplayed the large presence of white supremacists among the January 6th rioters. He said, quote, there's no evidence that white supremacists were responsible for what happened on January 6th. That's a lie. I guess the SWAT stick of flags walked to the U.S. Capitol on their own. In a contested GOP primary, Carlson could point to Trump's age, his losing of three straight elections if you count the midterms, and mounting legal problems. Carlson's line would be, it's time to pass the torch to the next generation. Unfortunately, it would be a Charlottesville tiki torch held by white supremacists. Carlson running for president would be a nightmare, but for Republicans, he's the candidate they've always dreamed of.